Glaucoma can be debilitating, but like many conditions, it can be hard for those who do not suffer from it to understand what it's really like to live with the disease. As World Glaucoma Week kicks off, Dr. Gregory Harmon, an ophthalmologist, is here to give us a look into the world of someone living with glaucoma and the All Eyes on Glaucoma campaign. Dr. Harmon, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So those of us who are not familiar, could you please give us a little, uh, your little uh, description of what exactly glaucoma is? Sure. Uh, glaucoma is the leading cause of preventable blindness. The key word is preventable. And uh, one of the reasons we're here and the reasons for World Glaucoma Week is to make people understand that if they get their eyes examined, they can prevent the blindness associated with glaucoma. Uh, but it's a condition, it's actually a group of conditions, usually associated with elevated pressure inside the eye that damages the fragile optic nerve that connects the eye to the brain. and. Um, it's one of these conditions in which if you lower the eye pressure, you can prevent that damage from occurring. And who is at risk for getting glaucoma? The incidence of glaucoma increases with increasing age, so over age 45 is an increased risk factor. The most substantial risk factor is elevated eye pressure itself. Mm. Uh, ethnic background is important. Uh, it's known that African Americans are four to six times more likely to get glaucoma. Hispanics, it was recently discovered, are at increased risk as well. Mm -hmm. People that are nearsighted, people that have had previous eye surgery or trauma, um, those sorts of things. And how do you get it? Is it genetic or is it a combination of factors that, that cause it? It's a combination of things, but family history is a very, very substantial risk factor. Right. And so what can people do to prevent it before the onset? There's really no way to actually prevent mm -hmm. glaucoma. You can avoid the blindness associated with glaucoma. Mm -hmm. preventable, it's preventable blindness. Um, the most important thing that a person can do is actually go get their eyes examined. What, once a year? Well, it depends on year. your risk factor profile. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, for most people, I'd say every year an exam would be necessary. And, um, and what are the symptoms? Are there any, before you start to lose your vision a little bit in the periphery, are there any other symptoms that one might have? No, glaucoma is often called, called the sneak thief of sight mm. because it has no symptoms. The most common form of glaucoma has absolutely no symptoms until very late in the disease. Mm -hmm. And typically what happens as the fragile nerve is damaged, the peripheral vision is, is lost. Right. So as it progresses, if it's untreated, the loss of vision actually moves inward. And to, to demonstrate, you brought some glasses. Yes, along I did. With it, didn't <laughs> yes, you? I did. Which I think is yeah. a fantastic idea because these glasses, yeah. if we put them yeah, on, put them on yeah. will simulate <laughs> right what uh, glaucoma yes. yeah. looks like. And let me tell you, it doesn't look like much. All you can see is one yeah. tiny little pinprick. Yeah, it's it's this is very illuminating, if you will. It's. Uh, it's very dark in here, yes. and there's just a central little island of vision That's right. that you can see through, and uh, so it, if you, you can see how it could affect your, your world. If you want to look to the side, you literally would have to turn yeah. your head all the way yeah. to the side. You have no peripheral vision whatsoever. The peripheral vision's gone. Quite, yep. quite frightening. And what is it the is. average age that this begins to happen to your vision? Well, it's, it can occur at any age. Glaucoma okay. occurs at so any age. No you can be born with glaucoma. But it's, it's uh, more prevalent in the older age group, over 45 and onward. And so now tell us a little bit about the All Eyes on Glaucoma campaign, Doctor, why you got involved, and a little bit about World Glaucoma Week, if you would. Well, I've been a glaucoma specialist for a number of years, and I've been chairman of the Glaucoma Foundation for about eight years. And in those roles, I came to discover programs that were really excellent at, uh, at promoting information about glaucoma and giving information to patients, et cetera. And the All Eyes on Glaucoma campaign, which is sponsored by Pfizer, is really spectacular. You go to the website, you can actually take a little quiz. You know, what is your risk for glaucoma? You can fill out these, mm -hmm. uh, fill out a little form online, and it can actually assess your own risk while you're while you're there online. And in addition to assessing your own risk, you can find information about glaucoma, where to go for help, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Fantastic. Well, Dr. Mm -hmm. Harmon, thank you so much for all this essential information. And remember, for more information on glaucoma, be sure to visit the alleyesonglaucoma.com website. And don't forget, you can follow ABC News Now on Facebook and Twitter. Just search ABC News Now.